Okay, now let us talk about some of the basic git commands. Before talking about git commands, let us see what is the git basic operations. What is the flow? So let us see what is what are these working directory. You can see in this diagram there is one working directory. There is a staging area. Then is a there is a local repository. Then there is a remote repository. So we have two locations basically. Local is the git and the remote is the GitHub. So working directory is what it's where your files are on your local machine. And what is local repository? It is the dot git subdirectory inside the working directory means which are under version control. So between them you can see one is staging area. It's also called index. What is this? What is the function of this index is? So if you have made some changes to your file and you add these files to the index or the staging area and once you are satisfied with the changes you commit them. So staging area is like a loading dock where you get to determine what changes get shipped away. So supposing you are working on some uh, file then you have to use git add command. After using git add command you are on staging area or index wherein uh, you confirm that you are satisfied that with these are the changes you want to commit. Once you are satisfied then you can run the command git commit and this is where the changes get shipped away to the local repository. So this is how the whole flow goes. We learn about these commands uh, in detail later on. So now once these files are on local repository, you can push them to the remote repository and merge them into other branches or check out back to working directory and many more operations you can perform. So now you can see that uh, this is a fetch command. Now you, are, uh, you have some files on remote repository. This fetch command what does it do is it grabs changes from remote repository and puts it into your local repository. So now you, uh, you see uh, you can use git merge command to join two lines of history. So you can also roll back to your old branch using git reset or checkout command. These commands we learn in detail now in our section. So th this is the basic structure of uh, uh, git operations taking place um, from working directory to staging area and then to local repository and then on remote machine we have a remote repository with github. Let's see the status and add commands. What is the status command? Status command uh, gives you the actual state of the working directory in the staging area. So in this uh, you can see when you type in the git status command on the git bash you can see these are the untracked files. So it basically lists which files are staged, unstaged and untracked. So git status uh, it basically displays the state of the working directory and the staging area. Through git status you can know what is the status of your state of the a working directory, your working directory, which files are still not tracked, and it will say, Okay, these are the untracked files, you can use git add to track them. So, after you have uh, run this status command using git status on the git bash, you will be using the add command. So, what is add command? We have already discussed that it adds a change in working directory to the staging area. So you tell git that what to track before I want to commit it. So for this you use git add command on the git bash. So git add dot is a specific command which adds all new files. There are more uh, application, more uh, additions in add command, add dot and other add minus a like that and you can learn on your own. Add dot is basically for adding all the new files. So for this uh, you will open your git bash then um, you will change the current directory to your local repository and then you will uh, type in status command and then git add dot will add all the untracked files. So add will uh, make changes it adds a change in working directory and it adds it to the staging area. Now commit. Now you have changed your files so you want to commit. 
So git commit minus m my first commit. This is my first commit is a commit message. Some useful message you want to give which describes of what you did. So this uh, will supply a required commit message at the same time by using the minus m flag. So what will other what will happen if you don't supply this uh, message? It will open an editor where you can enter enter a message and then save and exit to proceed. This is what you can see when I have done this git commit my first commit. So one file has changed. So once again I run git status you can see now in branch master there is nothing to commit. The working tree is clean. So I have committed all my files and then branch master is clean. So this will uh, finally update your local repository or repo. It's, it has nothing to do with your remote repository. Now after you have committed the changes you, are, uh, you have on, on local repository, you have an option to push it. So push command what does it do is, now when you have commits or branches you want to share with others, you will push them onto your remote repository. For example on github using the command git push. So git push command will, uh, so in on local repository what commands you are running? Add and commit. But push command, you will go to remote master repository or repo. You can also pull these uh, changes from the remote repository. We will talk about pull later on. So now we have learned these three commands, add, commit and push. So add, commit you do on local repository and push and pull you uh, do for the remote repository. We will talk about more uh, basic uh, git commands in our next lecture. Okay, thanks a lot.